Right, what's happening? I've um I've been on this thing for ages now, man, but uh I've been reading the manual and that, yeah, look. I'm on this chapter, chapter seven. It's about the filter and that. So what they keep on saying in the manual is they're drumming it into your head like that. that it's, a, it's got a digital oscillator and an analog filter like that. Don't, I don't really know what that means so much because I'm quite new to hardware, like synthesis and that. All, the, the only synthesizer experience I properly have, well, not even properly, like the SH201, the Roland, I've had that for ages. Like I got that in about 2010, I think. So I can look around that time. But before that, it was all VSTs, like, do you know what I mean? All you're doing is you're just tweaking the knobs on the computer screen, like, you don't really understand what you're doing. But look, so let's have a look at the, at the filter, yeah? Let me go back onto, let's start up on a blank patch. Right. That's not a blank one. That is. Right, so, boom, um... Um... Right, first of all, right, sequencer on, uh, no, record, no, not real-time recording. If you want to do real-time recording, you press play and that, look, it comes up there, real-time recording, but I don't want to do that, I want to do the, um, step, 16 steps, so... There you go, boom. I don't, know, I don't know why I can't get it to sync up properly, man. I think it's something to do with the CV gate at the back. I'm not sure. Like, again, that's all new to me. But anyway, let's have a look at the filter.
What's just happened there, dear? I've just lost it. I've lost the whole thing because I didn't save it. Dickhead. Look, anyway, yeah, in the manual, if you go, chapter seven is about the filters. Yeah, look, then it's the LFO. Then look here, look, animating sound. Yeah. As seen above, a low pass filter modifies sound by removing frequencies above the cutoff point. During, doing this manually is not very effective, although it helps in getting a grasp of what is happening. What turns the filter into a compelling musical tool is changing the cutoff point and its resonance dynamically. In the micro freak, you can do this by using an LFO and a pregiator or an envelope to control the cutoff frequency uh, and resonance of the filter. Please refer to LFO, pregiator and envelope chapters for more details. Cutoff modulation. Varying the cutoff point, the point where the filter starts removing frequencies from the sound spectrum changes the timbre of the sound. The most effective and musically pleasing way to modulate the cut of frequency is using an envelope generator. Um, the Micro Freak is hardwired to do this. Right next to the sustain control of the main envelope, you'll see a knob named Filter Amount. That one. Uh, that's where you determine how much the envelope will modulate. Look, freaky idea. Sequencer forward cut off modulation. The sequence of modulation track can be a useful tool to modulate the filter cutoff point in step by it to filter cutoff point. In step mode, you can assign a different modulation amount to each step of the sequence. How do I do that then? Why doesn't it tell me how to do that? So basically, look, this is what I reckon is a um is an animated sound, a precept. Number one, disrespectful. Precept one. <laughs> That's clearly animated, isn't it? And that's what I want to learn to do, and I don't know how to do it. It's damn me 